Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Team Awardee Presentation. Our model. <laughs> At the beginning, we assume one breast cancer patient. She is 36 years old lady, and she diagnosed investigative carcinoma. And she had already informed breast cancer by doctor. Her staging is clinical T2 and 1 and 0. First thing is the consultation group. Cancer is unfortunately not early stage. So if you want to breast conserve you, we recommend you have resistance therapy. Then you, you can choose a severe treatment drug. But one option. There is a clinical drug. It contains facility. Facility may be extremely effective for you. Clinical trial? Yes. <laughs> we can support of you. Any question? I'm not an experiment animal. Well, Nurse can explain about clean control for you. The role of nursing supports your decision making. Understand well what doctor said to you. Understand well about clinical trials. Understand well about anti-cancer drugs. Do you have any anxiety or hesitation? Do you need any explanation to make you understand better? But I'm afraid of anti-cancer drug. Pharmacists can explain about clinical trial for you. Uh, critical element of your clinical program for breast preservation. What do you have? Do you have a radiation oncology department or a radiation oncologist who are interested in this program? So at our elderly hospital, do you have a radiation person? Do they consult at this trial? Yeah, we have. Okay. Yeah. So, do you, uh, are you going to say that, I mean, do you have a radiation department in your hospital? <coughs> yeah, um, um, we just, uh, because of that, uh, we are uh, uh, limited on time and then resource, so we just uh, put the doctor on the one, like a thing, like a surgeon, but we, I mean, I, I mean, it's generic. generic, like a doctor, so that's, he, including medical authorities, medical authorities, should be everybody. So, so I just want to make course, sure you know, when you start a clinical program, especially <coughs> a multidisciplinary mm -hmm. program in this kind of setting, uh, please don't forget radiation. Because mm -hmm. I always make a comment, you know, since the six years that we have this program, this is the second time I see a radiation oncologist participating in this uh, 
problems. So I want to see really the true multidisciplinary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Think that we can get here because yesterday we had all the mess and nobody thinks we could make it. But uh, quite in the end, we can make it. So uh, I should start the presentation. Okay. So uh, we are uh, talking about the evaluation of axial dissection versus radiation for post adjuvant chemotherapy, non positive, triple negative breast cancer patient. So to compare, the objectives are to compare the efficacy of axillary dissection versus <coughs> axillary radiation in a local advanced breast cancer patient who have got node positive disease with, uh, without distance metastasis and who have got a hormonal receptor negative, which is ER negative and PR negative, and which also have no HER2 protein. Uh, which is categorized as a triple negative breast cancer patient and also whose nose remain positive after new ashivan chemotherapy. So we evaluate the time to progression and the quality of the life after com completion of treatments. So I'll tell you the background. The patients who have got triple negative tumors are known our team working hard at 8.55 this morning. <laughs> so, our team name, Curiscope, is a form, form, a formation of variety various uh, uh, lines. And so, all of, all of us are involved in this project in a various way. So this is this presentation is formation of our all of us. So we are proud of, proud of this presentation. And so I must uh, we must emphasize at least we found the importance of communicating communicating. Thank you. I, I think about the doctors, came back in and had a, an interesting dialogue, none of which I understood. The doctors and nurses go, first, I'd like to hear from the doctors. What did you hear the nurses say to you? And then I'd like to hear the nurses tell us, what did you tell the doctors? Thank you. 